thank you for the super chat, Ronzi dollar ninety nine. Um, I believe Ronzi had a question. Yeah, but, yeah, it's done. Um, it's so right feel free here. to it's post right that in the chat. Cool, man. I got it. Ron wanted to ask about PEQs in something like a mini DSP eighty eight A with main speakers full range prior to running Dirac. I don't even know. That's, that that, that sounds like a Joe question. Yeah, I wanted to ask about PQs and something like a mini DSP idiot with 88. main speakers full range prior to running Dirac. Uh, uh, I'm not. I'm not sure exactly what you're saying. Um, main speaker. Okay, are how you about saying this? to correct? How, how, are, are you saying to yeah, correct yeah. the speakers prior to running Dirac? Because you can kind of do think, that. I think that's what. Yeah. What What would you recommend if someone wanted to do? Um, you know do their system, calibrate their system, would you run Dirac first and then do the mini DSP stuff after that? Is, does that make the most amount of sense? Or what What's what would you think, Joe? Well, I try to do, you know, the least amount of processing as possible. Like, I wouldn't okay. want to double up, you know. Yeah. That can cause more issues Okay, so what right? you're so saying you is wanna... to do the mini DSP and then before you run Dirac, tell them, oh, what, you don't have well, a subwoofer? Or you well, this a... is... This 88A is not like the 2x4 HD. It's I'm assuming okay. it's not just for subs. I'm oh. assuming you're oh, right, using right. it for range. main speakers, right? So um so I've I have the 88A and I've done a lot of like experiments with it as far as you know doing stuff full range. Um mm, I'm just I guess I'm not sure exactly how you're trying to do this cuz I want to give you a, a good answer, but I'm not sure exactly what you're trying to do mm. pq yeah, yeah so it sounds to me like he's and I, i've replied i said use the eq to fix the speaker right mm -hmm. like you it's there are two different things you have speaker and then you have the room right mm -hmm. and then you have the, the combination so fix the speaker itself with mm -hmm. some basic eq time alignment dsp that kind of thing and then put the speaker in the room and then fix the room with direct yeah but I, you know what i think will happen is direct will undo what you just fixed it better not <laughs> i right, mean that's... I, i'm just thinking i'm just thinking like we don't know why he's asking yeah so if he's if he's a diyer and he's yeah. so if i'm doing this right i'm going to have the means to build a perfect speaker anechoic yeah. to whatever i want it to be you know like the crossovers the dsp and all that stuff then i put it in the room and then i let direct fix the room issues and then if I want to do any kind of tailoring of the sound after that, I can. But that would be the ideal way to go. Okay, there's there's the follow-up. Yeah. He says, yes, he's doing it with the mains after running Dirac. There are certain frequencies that are not as flat as I would like. And so you're trying to say, like, should I flatten it before or after Dirac does his thing? And I think the thing okay. is that in this what case, Aaron it probably doesn't matter. What's that? I think in this case, it probably doesn't matter. Whether it's before or after? Yeah, and I say that solely because he's not trying to perfect the speaker per se, and he doesn't have the means. I'm assuming to understand, like he's not taking this thing outside and measuring it, like he's trying to build a perfect speaker. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say just fix it whatever way it makes most sense to you, right? And I don't mean that to be passive at all. It's just the that's the truth. You can go about it a couple different ways. I would also though I would I would check into trying to understand why Dirac is doing what it's doing, right? Because you have a pre and a post response, so. See if you can figure out what, what's going on and what it's doing to the response that you I don't got a, like. I got an, an idea. So I like Aaron's idea of perfecting the speaker. Make it as perfect as you can. And then run Dirac, but then use the curtain and don't allow it to uh, fix anything above, let's just say, like, for example, 500 hertz. Yeah. Right? Yeah. That's the way I would probably recommend that you do it. Because Dirac is measuring at your main listening position. Right, so it doesn't know, it doesn't know what a perfect speaker is, right? That's something that you can do by, with your own measurements and your own EQ. But um, that's why I say Dirac might mess it up because it's not doing the right measurements. So, yeah. Hopefully that helps. Yeah. 